So when we work with rational expressions, we have to state restrictions on the denominator. But why is that? Let's take a look at the example. Say I have a rational expression, two over x plus one. And I need to see where the expression will be undefined. Undefined means it will have no meaning. It will have no possible value. Say I want to evaluate this expression for x equals 2. Let's try it. So if I sub in 2 for x, so x plus 1, and then 2, consequently now my x is 2 plus 1, I will get 2 over 3. So when x is equal to 2, the output value, the evaluated value of the expression will be 2 over 3. What if I want to evaluate my expression for x equals negative 1? So then if I take that same expression and I substitute negative 1 into the denominator, what happens here? We get a 0. So we end up doing 2 divided by 0. Is that possible? It's not. We cannot divide by 0. So therefore, we cannot allow the denominator to equal to 0. And in order for us to avoid that, we need to state restrictions on the variable in the denominator that will make the expression in the denominator zero. So if I take x minus one, it will make my denominator zero. So the restriction here will be x cannot equal negative one because that's the value that will make the function, the expression undefined. Say you wanna add two rational expressions, x plus one, over x minus 3 plus 3 over x plus 1. You need to look at each one of those expressions and decide which value will make the denominator 0, which value of the variable will make the denominator 0. So, if I look at x minus 3, what value of x will turn that expression into a 0? Positive 3, right? So in order for you to figure that out, you can also take that expression in the denominator and make it equal to 0 and solve a simple equation for x. So then x is three, but we want it to be a restriction, so we cross the uh, equal sign, cannot equal three. And for the other one, it's the same process. So x plus one, what value of x will make this denominator zero? Negative one, right? The exact opposite of one. In order for us to find it, we can always make it x plus 1 cannot equal 0, therefore x cannot equal negative 1. See? Now when you're adding, you need to find the common denominator. The product of the two or more uh, factors that already exist in the denominators. But you need to state the restrictions on each one of those factors separately. Why do we not state restrictions on the numerator? Let's say you have an expression x minus 1 over x plus 2. And you want to evaluate it for x equals positive 1. Let's try to evaluate it. 1 subtract 1 over 1 plus 2 equals 0 divided by 3. 
And when you get zero in the numerator, the expression is not undefined. In fact, when you divide zero by any number, it just becomes zero. So when X is one, the output, the evaluated expression is equal to zero. So therefore, there is no need to set restrictions on the numerator, but you do need to set restrictions on the denominator still. Let's look at this denominator and decide what the restrictions will be. X plus two, what value of X will make this denominator equal to zero? Negative two. So in order for us to get it, we can set X plus two cannot equal to zero, and then X cannot equal negative two. So we'll state it as our restrictions x cannot equal negative 2. And this was for x equals 1. Times you have an expression in the denominator, say you have 3x in the numerator, and in the denominator you have x squared minus 8x plus 12, that you cannot immediately state the restrictions for. You need to factor first. So in order for you to state restrictions on the denominator in a standard expanded form, you need to factor it. So this expression factors into, let's see, the product must be 12 and the sum must be negative 8, negative 2 and negative 6. The two factors will be x minus 2, x minus 6. So now we need to restrict two values, this one and this one. What two values will make this denominator equal to zero? For the first bracket, the value will be x minus two cannot equal zero, therefore x cannot equal positive two. And for the second, x minus six cannot equal zero, therefore x cannot equal positive six the two restrictions that will make the denominator zero and will make our expression undefined because we will end up dividing by zero. The two restrictions will be x cannot equal two and x cannot equal six.